I am Heavy Weapons Guy. And this... This is my weapon. You guys all know the drill. He's a big dude with a big gun. And because of these two things, he's slow. Some would say, too slow. But, luckily, my boy Gabe Newell hooked us all up with a weapon that can reduce his slowness and increase his speed. Those do mean the same thing, but we're going to continue anyway. Introducing the gloves of running urgently. These painted pugilists' paws increase your move speed by 30% whilst active, which brings it up from a very sad 230 hammer units per second to 299 hammer units per second, which is still pretty sad, but whatever. At the substantial cost of draining your health points both by 20 when originally pulling them out and then by 10 every second whilst they are out. Just to be clear, the health lost this way does recover at the same rate when they're holstered, but it doesn't gain an instant 20 upon holstering like it loses upon drawing. Now, as previously stated, Heavy is a big boy. He's got a large health pool, and it's a good thing too, because he needs all the health he can get with a model and hitbox as big as his is. So, draining your oh-so-important health is not necessarily the best idea, which is where the Delocus Bar comes in. After eating it for 4 seconds, his max health is temporarily increased by a whopping 50 points for 30 whole seconds. So, I thought to myself one day, what if I eat the Delocus Bar and only have my Gruz out whilst my health pool is still 300 or above? thereby getting the extra speed, but without losing any health that I wouldn't have had normally. How viable would this actually be? If I run with the gloves out until my health reaches 300, then swap to my primary weapon and run whilst my health regens and switch back to the gloves, rinse and repeat, would this be more efficient than just running with my primary out full time? I had to find out. Well, as you may have already guessed, the issue is that it takes four seconds to eat that chocolate, and that's four seconds that could otherwise have been used just running from point A to point B, quite literally, depending on the map you're playing on. So I crunched the numbers and tried to figure out how far would you have to run while swapping weapons periodically in order for it to be more efficient. It's a nine pipe problem to be sure. The way I was calculating efficiency was by working out the distance travelled compared to the distance you could have travelled given the same amount of time and without using my strategy. The moment the difference becomes a positive number, it's now more efficient to use my strategy. The trouble is, due to the eating time, by the time you even start moving, the difference in distance is already negative 920. So you've got a long way to go to eke back that distance and make it more efficient. By my calculations, the minimum distance that must be travelled for my heavy strat to be faster than just normal walking is 7,899 hammer units. This would take you about 34.3 seconds, and you'd be going at an overall average speed of 230.0000335 hammer units per second, which is 0000335 hammer units faster than, than just normal heavy walking. It's it's basically completely indistinguishable. So it's not it's not really good enough. Luckily for me, at this time your Delocus Bar buff hasn't worn off, and in fact, even after it does end, you still have some time to run with your Gruz out, as the 50 bonus health doesn't instantly disappear, it just begins to degrade like a uh, overheal. So I was able to calculate the results if you use the bonus Delocus health as efficiently as possible. In this case, you would be doing my strat for 35.69 seconds, averaging a whopping speed of 232.6 hammer units per second, a whole 2.6 hammer units per second faster than the normal Russian man. And this would travel you Travel you? Yes, this would travel you a distance of 8,301.6 hammer units. To, uh, to put that into perspective, it's about 7.3 two-fort sewer tunnels worth of distance. So, although the strat hypothetically does work, 
It would require a huge map that takes you over 30 seconds to reach the midpoint or the front line or wherever the fight is happening, and currently no such map exists, nor do I think any map will exist, in an official capacity at least. That brings up one of the other main problems with this strategy. If you are delayed by fighting or even jumping over an obstacle, my efficiency calculations are completely thrown off and there's a very high chance it is no longer worth doing, if in fact it ever was. Plus, uh, I must admit my calculations don't account for human error and do require you to switch weapons at frame-perfect speeds and times every single time, like you're some kind of weapon-swapping robot who never is even a frame too slow or too fast. So, in conclusion, the strategy sucks, the Delocus Bar sucks, but most importantly, I suck. Thank you to Speecrabs on Reddit for inspiring me to finish making this video with your post about using these weapons in conjunction, although I must admit I didn't read your post, just the title. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed. I'm now going to go and eat my chocolate in the corner and cry over my Excel spreadsheet that took several hours to make just to find out that it was completely pointless. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>